Hi, so the last thing that we're going to be doing using JavaScript with our HTML website is we're going to talk about the on mouse over and on mouse out events. Um, so these events uh, happen when you hover over something. So if you hover over a certain text, you'll highlight that text, or if you hover over a certain image, something else will happen. So for example, here are some um, times that you would be using the on mouse over and then the on mouse out. Um, same thing with an image. So if you mouse over it, there's ketchup on the fries and then mouse out and there's no ketchup. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is in your HTML file. So say in our HTML file, we want to change Miss Tan's restaurant, the background of it to be blue. Um, so to do that, we first need to find where um, which tag holds Ms. Tan's restaurant, and that's here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it an ID number so that we can reference it in our JavaScript file. So ID, or not an ID number, but an ID value. So let's just call it H. Um, and then we are also going to tie this tag to two different events. So the first event is going to be called on mouse, all lowercase over and you're going to set that equal to um well what do we want to do let's change the background now we haven't written this method this function yet but we will so on mouse over we want to change the background also on mouse out we want to go back normal. So let's make another function called back to normal. Okay, so now when we run this, nothing is going to change because our JavaScript isn't written yet. So even though back to normal is referenced, we haven't actually written that function. Okay, so next thing you're going to do is you're going to go into JavaScript file and you're going to make a new function. So in here, um, let's say function, and then what did we call it? Change background. Um, and then for change background, what do we want to do? So first we want to get the specific element that we want to change the background of. So the way you would get a specific element from an HTML file is you would say document dot get element by ID um, and then the ID that we gave it was H um, and so once we get the element by ID then what do we want to change about it so this gives us the actual element and then we want to use some method so we want to actually change the attribute, the style attribute. So we would do style dot background color. Um, and then let's set that equal to blue. So you can use blue. You can also do something like hashtag um, zero 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 zero. Uh, E four, right? So that'll change it to blue also. Now if we scroll over this, we can see the background changed it to blue. And again, you could have just straight up changed this to saying blue itself, and then that would go like that. Okay. Um, now when we move the mouse away, notice that it's saying it doesn't know what this on mouse out is referencing because it's referencing a function that we haven't written yet. So we have a function for when you mouse over, but then we don't have a function for when you mouse out. So I am going to copy and paste this. But then instead of saying change background, I'm going to make it back to normal is what we called it. And then instead of changing it to blue, I'm just going to make it an open string. What that'll do is it'll just go back to whatever style.css tells us to have it as. Um, so now if we go here, mouse over, we mouse out, and Mrs. Tan's restaurant goes 
um, gets highlighted and then not highlighted. So one other thing that you can do with an on mouse over and on mouse out event is you can change an image. So we only have it one image, it's frenchfries.jpg. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download this really quick and I am going to open it in just to modify it slightly. Um, so I just right click and then open in paint. Um, and then let me zoom out. And I can put some ketchup on the fries. So if I go into brushes, let's change it to like this, make it red. This is gonna be not the most exciting drawing. Um, then I'm going to file save as, and I'll save it as fries ketchup. And that'll save it as a JPEG. And then I'm going to close this. And then I save that to my desktop. So I'm going to go to desktop. Fries, uh, fries ketchup is right here. I'm going to drag it in. So now I have fries ketchup, which is just the ketchup on top of the fries. Great. And then I'm going to go back to frenchfries.html. So frenchfries.html is my french fries sub page and over here uh, I have an image tag. So notice I have image and then src equals frenchfries.jpg blah blah blah. So I'm also here instead of just image I'm going to give it an ID so that I can reference it later. If you did ID is equal to, uh, let's call it image. Um, so now I know it has an image um, tag, it has an image ID, um, and then I am also going to use the on mouse over and on mouse out options. So I'm going to say on mouse over, and I'm going to reference uh, a, me, um, a function that I haven't written yet. So on mouse over, I'll call it add ketchup. And that's a method, so it's gonna have open parenthesis, close parenthesis. And then I can also say on mouse out. And I'm going to write another function called um, fries. Okay, now I have a function called add ketchup, and then I have a function called fries plain, and then the SRC originally is just French dash fries dot JPG. That's fine. Um, we still want that there because at some, like I might not mouse over or um, mouse out at any time. So now I need to write these methods. So fries plain and add ketchup. So I'm going to first go into JavaScript. I am going to write a new function, call it add ketchup. And then for this function, I am going to change my image element. And what about my image element? I'm gonna change the SRC, the source for my image element. So you're gonna start with document dot get element by ID. This time we called it image. And then I am going to say dot SRC because I want to change the source to fries with ketchup. So dot J E D. Great. And then I'm going to do the same thing, copy and paste it. Um, but instead of saying add ketchup, what did I say? Fries plain. And instead of fries ketchup, I'm going to say French 
cash prize. If that's the name of my file. Yes. Okay. So now when we run this, let's see if it works. So you're going to click on French fries. You hover over it. There's ketchup. You move it out, and there's no ketchup. So on mouse over, on mouse out. On mouse over, on mouse out. Um, and that's it. So you're going to do um, at least two modifications to your website using JavaScript. So think about what you want to do. Um, and you could always do more if you want. And have fun with it.